traveling across parts of Texas from San Angelo to pretty much northeast and central Texas, even a little further east around College Station. And it looks like more rain, that colder air remains in place uh, through the rest of the day today. So unfortunately, if you were planning on maybe driving or flying, definitely want to check with your airlines. So there's the upper low. Yesterday, it was looking like this same system was going to spread across the four corners and bring us a widespread showers on Wednesday. But it looks like it has shifted and it will stay just south. So if it does hold up and continue to track in this direction, this will allow our eastern counties to have the best chance at seeing rain tomorrow morning. So at 7 o'clock, it gets icy around Van Horn, our eastern counties. Maybe some of that rain will track into our region. But as of now, it's looking like the western counties not looking so great in terms of our rain chances. But as we take a look at the rest of Texas throughout the rest of the day today, from Odessa to Dallas, Austin, it's still very icy and we're still tracking rain through Wednesday at 11 o'clock. Some heavier storms from Dallas, East Texas, and even around the Houston area. By Thursday at 2 o'clock, mostly cloudy skies, but it does look like that system will begin to clear out. For today, we'll be in the 60s in El Paso, Las Cruces, 42 in Ruidoso. So I do think today looks pretty good. Tonight, that chance for rain.